Hey everybody, well I did it. I painted my Hero Quest Dwarf uh, using the new Army Painter Mega Paint sets. Uh, I got some flack for even suggesting I was going to do it, that it was an ultra exclusive rare, uh, hand painted as a gift. Um, yeah, I'm a I'm a miniature war gamer. I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the miniatures that people send me because <laughs> then they're mine. They're my paint jobs and stuff too. So I'm pumped. I got to paint this HeroQuest mini, and I'm I gotta say I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I use the new um, art painter stuff. Uh, so if you are actually uh, you know new to the miniature war gaming and painting and stuff like that for tabletop, uh, this is a great all in one paint set, and I got a great result. So uh, I'm gonna throw it up on the spinner, and we're gonna do a little up close, and uh, I'll talk about what I did, how I painted it, uh, and what I think about the the quality of the mini. This is one of the vinyl minis, so I, I don't know the 100% that it's a production mini from the box game, um, but it has a real bendy axe, so I don't think it's resin because it would have snapped off when I bent it. It does feel like a board game piece. I don't know because it was primed and painted when I got it sent to me, so I, I, I stripped it off as best I could and it was just kind of gray. <laughs> so I don't know if it's the final production quality of uh, vinyl and stuff like that, but it held detail really good when I, I primed it again and uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty pumped about it, so let's take a look. And so here he is, Mr. Dwarf himself. Uh, from the new upcoming HeroQuest box sets uh, that I was sent by Hasbro as a, a cool little gift for having done some HeroQuest videos in the past. I decided to paint them off, like I said, um, using the new Army Painter uh, Mega Paint sets, which is 50 colors. Um, I did scrape off most of the existing paint with a quick bath in um, some um, uh, simple green and then give them a, just a, a primer with some Army Painter 2 and uh, 1. Paint plus primer black. Uh, then I based him with oak brown, um, just with like a heavy dry brush. Uh, I base coated all the metallics. So I used gunmetal for the axe and the armor plates and weapon bronze uh, from the Army Painter War Paints for all the weapons. Um, the skin tone was done with tanned flesh uh, and then the uh, hair with fur brown. Uh, the back of the uh, like clothing was done with grimoire purple and the pants were done with uh, army green. And then I gave everything a tone wash using the uh, strong tone for all the metallics, uh, the skin and the boots and stuff. And then the um, weapons were done, all the metallics, uh, like the, the sort of like um, steel metal was all done with dark tone. I blended everything back up afterwards. I think I used uh, mummy wraps, <laughs> mummy something, I can't remember the name of the paint, the beige, um, blended into the tan flesh uh, to um, bring the skin back up. And then I worked the uh, fur brown through, uh, I think it was lava orange and a bit of the same mummy uh, beige um, for the hair. Uh, maybe a bit of elf flush actually touched in there too. It's a bit orangey. Um, and then some little ice blue. Uh, I think it was crystal blue or maybe void shield blue in the weapons there to give it kind of like a glowing rune. Uh, the metallics were then highlighted with um, shining silver and then the gold with greedy gold and then a little bit of shining silver and, and greedy gold mixed together. Uh, I used, I think it was monster brown or leather brown mixed with the oak brown for the wrap on the weapon and just to highlight the boots and stuff. And then I was all done. Uh, and I'm really happy with them. I mean, if you look at the chain mail at the back there, like it's kept its detail really well. It, uh, it didn't lose any detail with the spray paint and the primer. Um, and like I said, this is, uh, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> Let's stick my finger in here into the shot. And you can see just real fast when I hold him, he's got a bendy ax. So I'm pretty sure this is a vinyl mini um, that's uh, like, like if not a production mini, then close to the same material. Um, and if that's the case, then it's held detail pretty well. It was fun to paint. It uh, feels about uh, like painting a, a Reaper Bones mini, one of the newer ones. Um, and I like, his, I like his style. He's a big, cool dwarf with a big, cool axe. He's a lot more heroic than the original dwarf, um, being that he's huge and stuff, but he's more of a modern sculpt. And yeah, he was fun to paint, big and chunky. So I mean, I could use him for D&D. I could use him for you know, any of my various adventure games and stuff like that, but uh, he's definitely a, a cool HeroQuest hero, and I'm stoked to paint the rest of them if the rest of them are of the same quality as this. So there it is, a look at uh, my HeroQuest dwarf, um, and uh, him all painted up. I'm, I'm pretty stoked to, to paint the models that come in the box.